This is Gary Atansi with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. We're at Lesion Acupuncture Clinics. Since 2002, they have been providing a healthy healing place through acupuncture and massage. I'm here with Dr. Lesion. Why don't we start off, first of all, in 2002, you begin your practice here in the Denver area. You opened up this branch here in 2012. Obviously, a lot of growth taking place. Your education spans over many, many years, all the way back in the 90s, quite honestly, back when you were nine years old, getting you prepared for this occupation. Share with us how you got involved in this industry. Uh, this is my family tradition. So when I was uh, uh, nine years old, uh, my parents and also my uncle picked me up and let me try see whether I'm going doing this well. And I started and I was well. So I start my uh, training. Wonderful. So obviously your, your, your education spans over multiple continents, really. Um, as you come over here to the Western medicine, are we starting to slowly understand that a proactive approach to our health is really what's going to help folks out there? And is that why many people are coming to seek your services? I believe so. I think it uh, uh, seems uh, more and more people accepting acupuncture treatment because it's uh, healing and no side effect, and also it's very effective. Let me ask you, acupuncture itself has been around for close to 5,000 years, originated back in China. Is the technology ever changing because you as a doctor are learning more and more, so is the treatment getting better and better all the time? We use a lot of modern science technology to start to study the, the procedures of acupuncture. We, uh, we, made, we so far made a lot of progress. So to make it clear exactly to, uh, you know, identical with the Western medicine. So which is a, like this is a Western medicine disease and how is about the Chinese look alike, how did the Chinese ways and how we cooperate together, how to treat it. Interesting. Before we get into many of the symptoms of why folks walk through the doors um, seeking some relief, let, let's start first of all. What is going on? What are the theories that are actually happening during the process of needles going in the body? What is going on at that, at that stage? Uh, it's uh, about the, we, we did a lot of study about the, uh, what's going on. Uh, we have uh, many, many theories to believe, you know, like uh, the traditional ways we believe is called uh, meridian theory. But uh, through the many years study, we found is uh, like some theory, like a nerve system, uh, blood vessel system, uh, lymph system. All the things is uh, partially about the meridians. But so far, we haven't found a 100% explanation sure. what is a mer real meridian, which acupuncture based on. So you're talking about folks that come in with some pain, they can leave with some relief. Are you actually stimulating the endorphins that cause pain and are able to block that pain from us? Uh, some of the studies show that that ways uh, during the acupuncture and the stimulate the brain to generate one chemical called endorphin. Uh, so that's the one of the theory to explain how does acupuncture work. Now, uh, let's say folks out there before have never tried acupuncture. They're fearful of it. I mean, when folks think of needles, I think of sewing needles, but we're talking about needles that are much smaller than that. Explain to us really what the needles entail. The, the, the needle we use compared to sewing needle is much smaller, also solid. It's uh, most time they won't cause any pain, but sometimes it does cause a little pain. But it's uh, nothing uh, like a tremendous pain. We shouldn't be scared, but it looks like a little scared sometimes. Interesting. Does the, does the government basically regulate the size of the needles to make sure that the procedure is always safe for the folks out there and consumers? Yes, it is. Uh, we have certain rules. Uh -huh like uh, the, all the needle only can be single use and uh, deposed, disposal uh, after that, uh, it's quite safe. Before we discuss um, some of those symptoms again out there, um, share with me a little bit as far as the, I wanna take a proactive approach with the viewers here. I mean, not only do you have to have pain and injury to walk through the doors, a lot of folks are taking more of a proactive approach, less a reactive approach to their health. How is acupuncture able to help us with optimal health? That's the, the uh, very important part of acupuncture. We're not only treating the disease, we're also for well-beings. Sure. Like we can uh, look at the people's tongue and the, and the pulse. Uh -huh. That's the way we diagnose. We check their energy levels. Uh -huh. 
This is that we always can bring the people's energy level better. Uh, we call it like a tune-up treatment, something uh -huh, like that. Um, folks out there that want to do this for maintenance of their health, how often should they be coming in for something like that? Uh, I recommend it's about like uh, uh, once in two weeks, uh, uh, or either you know every six months we have a ten visit at a tw uh, twice week basis. Just like you keep your house cleaning, mm -hmm. no matter how wonderful the house is, but if you won't clean, they will be trashed out. Absolutely. Some of the folks that have come in and uh, basically not for pain but for maintenance, what are some of the stories you hear from them? I mean, do they hear feel better? Is it energy? What do you normally what do you normally hear from the patients? The patient can feel after the tune-up treatment, they can feel like uh, more energy, more relaxing, uh, more fresh feelings, uh -huh. so uh, comfortable, you know, all the things is, uh, can be uh, all other things. Is, uh, Wonderful. Right now we are scrolling across the uh, screen there many, many symptoms of what can be alleviated, um, decreased with acupuncture. Share with me some of the more common ones, uh, also some of the ones that are more life-altering for folks that you've seen walk out with uh, just an amazement that was taken care of. Uh, for example, most amazing is it can be pain. People can suffer like uh, the pain, uh, like a shoulder pain, neck pain, back pain. The level can be uh, from 0 to 10, it will be 10. Uh -huh. But after needles, it can be down to 0. It's amazing. They can move. Before they move, uh, they move in, they couldn't do it. They couldn't move the things. Interesting. So, so we're talking about small pains, um, alleviating some aches, um, all the way to more serious symptoms, maybe like that of uh, post-stroke acupuncture. Sherman, what, what do you guys offer that, for that as well? Uh, uh, we specialize in uh, brain injury for all kind of like people involved in a car accident or even stroke. Uh -huh. uh, the acupuncture can uh, burn up the brain circulation tremendously. By the study they showed is uh, like uh, they can burn up the brain circulation, especially to the selected area, more than 20 percent. So that's we can uh, stimulate the nerve, get it there, uh, a lot of improvement for their uh, paralyzed. Uh, and also the speech, uh, and also the brain functions, much better. Is this a very common approach in other countries for strokes? Uh, in, in China, is uh, for stroke rehab, the uh, acupuncture is the number one therapy there. So most, uh, uh, I would say probably more than 90% stroke patient receiving uh, acupuncture treatment for, uh, for stroke. Interesting. So folks out there that are looking for a real natural approach to their health, this is great because we're talking about no drugs, no side effects, uh, basically no surgery. It's very non-invasive, really. It is. Uh, that, let me ask you this. What age are you able to treat out there? I mean, I'm, I've got a lot of kids myself. Do you start them out young all the way up to the elderly? Uh, with the youngest patient I ever uh, treat that was uh, about... Uh, uh, after three days after she was born in the hospital, when at that time I was working at Red Cross Hospital in China, uh, she got a hard labor and it damaged the, the, the nerve on the shoulder, so got paralyzed on the arm, so we, we start treating at that time. The oldest patient that we, uh, I have been treating uh, is uh, 102 years old. So it's kind of be a big branch. That's a wide gamut of actually clients that you're able to take care of through the door. Folks, take a look at the bottom of the screen. What you're going to see is their website. On the website, you're going to get a clearer picture, possibly, about the uh, background of the doctor here, as well as their staff. You're also going to take a look at some of the services they're able to provide. And like I said, we've scrolled across the screen many, many symptoms that acupuncture has been able to help. But quite honestly, it's the prevention of uh, disease, if you will, that helps you so you don't have to walk through the doors again. Um, you can also check out there um, on the website some of the resources they have. You can also check out their newsletters and uh, obviously sign up right there on the website as well. Let me ask you, obviously your expertise is in that of acupuncture. You're providing a place of healing here. You also provide massage under the roof as well. Yes, we do. What kind of massage are you offering here for the folks? We do the massage, it's an integrative massage, uh -huh. uh, include the Chinese massage, the deep tissue, Swedish, almost everything, uh, uh, the basically for healing. Okay. Let me, one last thing, obviously we as consumers um, 
to learn more about our health, it's an ongoing educational process. You also make yourself available to the masses out there through seminars. Um, share with us what you're able to provide for folks out there. Uh, we try to use the uh, public education to educate the American public to, uh, to accept the acupuncture because uh, so far we still have a small group of people trying uh, acupuncture, which is really healing uh, uh, to uh, prevent a disease uh, for also for a lot of chronic disease, which most people haven't recognized, such like uh, diabetes, yeah. arthritis, uh, uh, high blood pressure, uh, for asthma, for all this chronic disease. And acupuncture not only uh, can uh, control uh, to some of them, even we can cure that. Uh, so this is an amazing process uh, be compared to uh, uh, Western medicine because for long, long term taking the drugs, the side effect has to be concerned. And Absolutely. acupuncture definitely no any side effect. Absolutely. One last thing, doctor, before we let you go. If we have a viewer out there who has never tried acupuncture before, maybe a little fearful, what would you tell them? Uh, we we'll, uh, definitely we we'll talk to them, let them to try, uh -huh, to try see whether it's a, whether it causes there any pain uh -huh, and whether they're comfortable or not, the things. Uh -huh. And uh, I would recommend everybody to have a, at least try one time. Uh -huh. I would say, uh, you know, some people may be very scared for the needle, sure. but most people probably not. But they're able to walk in the office here, sit down with your staff, possibly go through a small consultation, kind of walk them through them in that way. And then obviously if it's something they would like to keep doing, how often does that depend pretty much on what they're trying to get rid of, of how often they should come through the doors? Yeah, it's based on the disease, based on the issues, conditions, uh, you know, how often they can come here. Uh, the things are very individual. Excellent. Folks, last time, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see there is our contact information. Phone number's right there at the bottom of the screen. Give them a call. They're located here in Denver. This is their newest branch here. Lo opened up in 2012. They've been serving the area since 2002. That is Leishan Acupuncture Clinics, located here in Denver, Colorado. The key to a healthy and long life. This is Gary Atensi with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.